Would you like to learn how to teach sight words faster? We'll look at what recent brain research has found about reading and how to apply that to learning to read. Recent brain research has found that the adult brain of good readers does not process words as wholes, but instead, as Stanislas Tahan explains in his article, The Massive Impact of Literacy on the Brain, by analyzing the individual letters and letter teams at the same time in a massively parallel architecture. The speed of this parallel processing led early researchers to believe that the brain was processing the words as a whole, but recent brain research using more powerful technology has found the opposite. Recent advances in brain scans have enabled scientists to see what is happening as the human brain reads, capturing what is going on in the brain millisecond by millisecond. The ability of the brain to translate letters into meaningful words is amazing, and harder than it seems. First, the brain has to recognize letters. While this seems simple to an adult, it is actually a complex task that is hard for computers to replicate. The human brain can quickly and effortlessly translate hundreds of different fonts and thousands of different handwritten letters, some of them messier than others, into the letters of the alphabet. It is hard to train computers to recognize so many fonts and even harder for a computer to recognize messy writing. Then, the letters are translated into sounds so fast that the adult mind thinks that it is recognizing them as wholes, when in fact, each letter and letter team is being processed in parallel. As this happens, the sounds of the words almost immediately light up the meaning areas of the brain. For a more technical explanation of this amazing process, read Dehan's Reading in the Brain. I'll also link to some of his videos explaining the process. In Language at the Speed of Sight, cognitive neuroscientist Mark Seidenberg states, There is a profound disconnect between the science of reading and educational practice. Very little of what we've learned about reading as scientists has had any impact on what happens in the schools because the cultures of science and education are so different. The gulf between science and education has been harmful. A look at the science reveals that the methods commonly used to teach children are inconsistent with basic facts about human cognition and development, and so make learning to read more difficult than it should be. They inadvertently place many children at risk for reading failure. They discriminate against poorer children. For more about how and why this disconnect between science and education harms poor and minority students, watch 40L's YouTube video, Closing the Reading Gap. My 23 years as a volunteer literacy tutor have taught me just how important a good phonics base is for everyone, but especially for my disadvantaged students. The generally recommended number of sight words that teachers suggest a young student can learn by sight is two words per week. With phonics, you first need to spend a few weeks learning the letter sounds, and then a few more works weeks learning to blend these sounds together to make words. We'll compare how much you can learn at the rate of a few sounds or words per week, comparing teaching the most commonly taught sight words as wholes by sight versus teaching them with phonics. As you can see on this first graph, initially the sight word method looks faster. But once you get past the basics of letter sounds and how to blend them together, phonics is faster and more efficient. The new reader will initially sound out words slowly and haltingly, but with practice, this, practi this process gets faster and faster until eventually they will be able to sound them out so fast that they too will think they are reading them as wholes. But science proves the opposite, that they are being decoded as sounds lightning fast in parallel. However, it can take a few years of practice to achieve this speed. By the end of 52 weeks, Phonics nets you twice as many words learned versus learning them as wholes by sight. Moreover, the benefits of phonics are magnified. Phonics is even more powerful. At the end of 16 weeks, you have the ability to sound out 10,000 additional words. At the end of week 20, you add an additional 5,000 words. By the end of 52 weeks with phonics, you have the ability to sound out thousands and thousands of additional words. So, your progress is magnified and multiplied. Learning sight words as wholes can also lead to confusion. When you are learning by shape, words that look alike are easily confused. For instance, look at the following words, a small subset of the easily confused sight words. They are easily confused if you are not looking at every letter and sounding them out. 
Almost all of my remedial students have lingering confusion problems with some sight words, but especially between they, then, than, and them. For more about this, see Raymond E. Lorita's article, Basic Sight Vocabulary, A Help or a Hindrance. I'll link it in the video description below. Besides this confusion, my remedial students often have other guessing problems, especially with more complex multisyllable words. These problems from guessing often do not show up until a few years later when more complex text is used. Another reason sight words are still taught besides the disconnect between education, schools, and research mentioned by Seidenberg. All my remedial students have had some degree of guessing problems and difficulty sounding out complex multisyllable words. You can easily avoid these guessing problems and confusion by teaching the sight words with phonics. About 70% of them are completely regular and need no rules or explanation to teach. All but five of the most commonly taught 220 adult sight words and 100 fry instant words can be easily taught with phonics by teaching a few simple rules and patterns. I'll link easy um, documents and videos to show how in the video description. The fastest, most efficient way to learn the sight words is with phonics. Learning them with phonics will also prevent later problems. Plus, your brain will thank you. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And watch some of my other videos to learn how to teach with phonics and make your brain happy.